Crimes of the Future is David Cronenberg's first film in 8 years. What disturbing vision of the world does this filmmaker have now? Let's find out. Cronenberg has always had an unsettling view of the human body, its many vices and its limitations. In existence, bodies exist to serve as energy resources for technology to feed off. In Dead Ringers, there's strange specimens to be carved up and peered at with suspicion. In Crimes of the Future, he maps the journey from self-loathing to self-acceptance, of learning to feel at home in one's body, even if it doesn't live up to your expectations of it. The world is a much more dangerous place now that pain has all but disappeared. It's a surprisingly sentimental swerve for Cronenberg, even if his way of getting to the heart is to repeatedly take a scalpel to the flesh surrounding it first. The film opens with the image of a shipwreck and goes on to depict a world of cracked tiles, chip paint and crumbling buildings. This deteriorating setting gradually becomes the backdrop to the decaying human condition. Let us not be afraid to map the chaos inside. Crimes of the Future charts a new phase of human evolution, in which new and unusual organs sprout inside sections of the population. One of these is performance artist Saul Tensor, played by Vigo Mortensen. Lea Sedu stars as his partner Caprice, who surgically removes his new growths in front of a live audience. Since people have evolved past the ability to feel pain, the surgery produces feelings of intense pleasure in Saul instead. Surgery is the new sex, says a character at one point. The idea of people grasping for pleasure in a digitized, mechanized world that's rendered them so desensitized to it is a theme that recurs in Cronenberg's films like Videodrome and Crash. Even in the future, society is drawn to the spectacle of violence. It becomes just one more facet of performance art, like the vehicular accidents in Crash, the pain in Videodrome, and the surgery in Dead Ringers. Cronenberg has always had one eye on the future. In Videodrome, there's a shot of a videotape being inserted directly into a man's torso and nerves being replaced by metallic wires. You can read this as a metaphor for our reliance on technology in the way that a phone is now an extension of our hand. For over 50 years, the director has been talking about the ways the human body must adapt and conform to the modern world. But in Crimes of the Future, he questions both the cost of this adaptation and the risks of resisting it. Sex, isn't it? Is it? Mm. You know it is. Surgery is the new sex. For every futuristic leap this film makes, it doubles up as an elegy for everything its characters are currently losing. The human form has never appeared weaker than it has in this film, relying on technology to eat, sleep without pain, and experience sexual desire. If it feels like Cronenberg is retreading the same themes that have recurred throughout his work, it appears that the director feels it too. Crimes of the Future shares a title with one of his earliest works, pointing to a filmmaker who knows he's come full circle with his thematic obsession. It's easy to read into the parallels between him and Saul. They're both aging artists who wonder just how much longer they can keep working. Saul fears there will come a day he no longer has the ability to shock and awe. Cronenberg has made a career of staging the human body in strange and grotesque ways. Does he wonder the same? In any case, he has nothing to worry about. On a visual level, Crimes of the Future is relatively low on body horror and gore. Though the squeaking sound of a metallic instrument as it cuts against bone in one scene will make you wince. On a thematic level, however, it's as rich as any of Cronenberg's works. Saul must carve out a piece of himself each time he performs. It's a powerful metaphor for the harrowing and awful painful process of creating art in which an artist must put the most intimate parts of himself on display for the public to scrutinize. This is just one of the many potent ideas in the film. Crimes of the Future talks about the fear of losing control over our own bodies, the thought of leaving behind a barren wasteland for our children to inherit, and the slippery definition of what makes us human. However, the film isn't as sharply constructed as some of Cronenberg's previous works. The various subplots unfold gradually, and while the world building is impeccable, all the themes aren't fleshed out enough. Still, there's enough here to chew on. In one scene, a cold-blooded killing is followed by the murderer's heaving sobs. In another, Saul himself sheds a tear of triumph. Maybe people haven't become so desensitized that they can't experience acute loss. 
or even great personal joy. For all the external bodily wounds Cronenberg depicts, Crimes of the Future is a striking reminder that one of his biggest strengths as a storyteller is probing the human soul. Crimes of the Future is currently streaming on Mubi. Please check it out. Can I also tell you what my favorite Cronenberg film is? It's Dead Ringers and like Crimes of the Future, this is a fascinating intersection of sex, performance art and surgery. Dead Ringers isn't currently streaming anywhere, but until it does, I urge you to add it to your watch list.